huge thank you to Evelyn for sponsoring this portion of the video. Surprisingly, the weather has actually warmed up quite a bit over the last couple of weeks in Melbourne, so I decided to select some pieces that I thought were more spring summer appropriate. I'm still sort of working out what I want my spring summer wardrobe to be this year. I'll obviously share a lot more videos with you guys as that develops, but in the meantime, I am going to be adding the pieces that I show you guys today to my wardrobe, and I'll also just run you guys through some of the colors and why I've chosen them and everything, so yeah. Get started. First up, I wanted to get myself a pair of green shorts because you guys know that I'm green obsessed and I thought that a pair of green shorts would be really perfect for the warmer weather. These ones are so cute. They have pockets, which are obviously necessary for all shorts. And yeah, they're just sort of the perfect throw on pair that I'm planning on wearing with like singlets and t-shirts and like shirts over the top. And even before the weather gets too hot, I think these shorts are actually really cute. I probably still wear them with like a t-shirt and a jumper or something like that. So yeah, very cute, we love. Next up, I got this t-shirt and I would say that the color is sort of like a mint green. It's a bit slouchy and oversized and yeah, it's just really comfortable. So definitely a nice little piece to add to my spring summer wardrobe. So you can probably already tell the theme of this little haul, but yes, we do have another green top. This is, I would say more of like a khaki kind of color and it's the exact same fit as the last t-shirt. So again, it's this like really slouchy, really comfortable material. It's very thin and lightweight. So yeah, it's really perfect for those warmer months. If you followed me for a while, you'll know that I pretty much always just wear crew neck t-shirts. So I wanted to add some different cuts and shapes to my wardrobe this year. Hence the V-neck t-shirt instead. I got this in a white and also in a blue color, which I'll show you guys next. And given I like to wear a lot of necklaces during summer as well, I thought maybe a V-neck would actually be perfect. Okay, so this is the same t-shirt, just in the cobalt blue as I'm sure will come as my surprise to you guys. I have never owned anything in this color before. I don't think I've even ever worn this color before, but I saw it in the lookbook and I got really excited about it because I feel like cobalt blue is having a bit of a moment the last few months. And yeah, I kind of just wanted to try it out for myself. I'm not really sure yet if the color suits me that much, but I think I need to style it with a few different pieces that I've already got in my wardrobe and that way to see if it actually works for me or not. And the last top that I want to show you guys was this one in blue. As you can see, we've got a bit of a blue and green theme going during this haul. Those are definitely the two colors that I think I'm gonna be gravitating towards during spring, summer. So I did wanna select a few pieces that sort of represented those colors. I just popped on these cream shorts so that I could show you guys what the top looked like when it was tucked in, because I think that's sort of more how I would probably style it. Also got this really cute blue cap, which we are very into hats during summer. We do not want any sun damage at any point, so we love that. And we got this really cute little tote bag. I can definitely see this being a staple in my wardrobe, not just for spring, summer, but literally all year round. I have so many white and cream tote bags, but I don't have any darker ones. And lastly, I got these two new pairs of shoes. I really love both of them, but I think that the black woven pair is maybe a little bit more my usual style but I can definitely see myself getting good use out of both of them because yeah, they're really classic and definitely go with all the other pieces that I selected for this little haul. Anyways, that is it for this little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me try on those pieces. And if you do wanna shop any of those pieces, obviously there will be links to each item in the description box below. So anyways, let's get back to this video. you guys so you know how I really hated the kitchen splashback I will insert a photo here in case you forgot but pretty much it was like this disgusting mint green glass thing like it was just it was really throwing off the kitchen vibe anyways yesterday I organized someone from Airtasker to just place it with some white tiles which I thought would look a million times better okay so obviously just ignore the fact that the powerpoints are not currently plugged in properly but here is the finished result how amazing does that look especially in comparison to what we had like this is so much better and it's also gonna look amazing with all our appliances and some plants and everything anyways i'm just waiting for the painter now to come we are going to be painting the walls and i'll show you the color that we are thinking of painting the walls so it's definitely much lighter than what we currently have um the walls currently are quite gray so we just thought going with like a more classic 
white would be better and this one is from tin paint and it's just called the so fresh and so clean pretty much all of monday and tuesday i was deliberating between what we should change the floor color to initially nick and i were really set on doing like a light gray color but just given the position of this apartment it does throw off like a lot of blue light in here and i definitely do not want blue lighting there's just nothing that triggers me more than blue lighting so i thought in the end more of like a beigey tone would probably be better i'm really excited about that i think they said it's going to take a full week to install so yeah we have to now like wait a week to see what it looks like but i'm sure it's going to be amazing i can't wait So we're making, what would you call these, like pita pizzas? Yeah. Pita pizzas. And Nick, for some reason, has put his cheese underneath. I'm convinced that cheese goes first. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Obviously, you put cheese on top. Just to cover all bases, I'm going to put a little bit on top. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Just go double cheese, I think. You can't get enough cheese. No, you can't get enough cheese. I'm trying this um, dairy-free cheese. I've never tried it before, so we'll see how it tastes. Contemplating by the nation breaking Don't erase a fight would take a say And take the middle row, hate to hear it Go break your spirit, go waste a year So tell yourself that you gon' be enough When the time is rough, it's kinda hard to hear it So I'm holding big dreams Sending you a pen for a life of schemes I'm struggling and I'll hold on Knowing that you're gone, gone Gone in your own life. Yeah, run it, run it, got me gunning some brownies now because I'm just craving chocolate brownies and why 
happened to you. I have this really good recipe. It's like gluten free and dairy free and like refined sugar free. It's like the whole thing. Um, so I guess it's like kind of healthy. I don't even know if it's kind of healthy, but it's definitely like IBS friendly. So I will leave that recipe in the description box below. Let's get started. <laughs> Could literally just eat this by itself but we will carry on with the brownie idea Um, but let's cut the brownies. Oh my days. So good. We're having a dumpling night tonight with Oriental Tea House. They've also given us this little game to play, which I'm really excited about. But we're just like getting everything going at the moment. There's a lot happening in the kitchen. We've got Nico's here, obviously. Maybe check them now just to see that it looks like it's steaming. Yeah, oh, yeah. These look great. Good for 